Welcome to Big Daddy Storytime. We're reading Walt Disney's Peter Pan. Can you see Peter Pan there? And Captain Hook. You could see him there. Great job. Would you like to read a story about Peter Pan? You would? Okay, let's get on with the story then. Peter Pan. This is the story of Peter Pan, the boy who never wanted to grow up. Long ago in London, there lived three children, Wendy, John, and Michael. Wendy told her brother stories about a faraway place called Neverland. The hero of those stories was Peter Pan, a boy who never grew up and who had wonderful adventures. One night, when the children were fast asleep, Peter Pan and his friend the fairy Tinkerbell flew in through the nursery window. They had come to search for Peter's shadow. Peter had left it behind one night while he was listening to one of Wendy's stories. Just then, Wendy woke up. Oh, is that you, Peter? She was thrilled to meet Peter Pan and agreed to help him and Tinkerbell capture the mischievous shadow that is. Peter liked Wendy and urged her to fly with him to Neverland. You'll never grow up there, he promised. Wendy agreed at once, as long as her brothers came too, that is. So Peter told Wendy, John, and Michael to each think happy thoughts. Oh, happy thoughts, happy thoughts. Then he sprinkled them with magic pixie dust from, from Tinkerbell, of course. Before they knew it, the excited children were soaring high above the rooftops of London. Second star to the right, and straight on till morning, Peter called, leading the way to Neverland. The children flew all the way to the enchanted world of Netherland, Neverland, home to Peter and the Lost Boys, the dreaded Captain Hook, his ship of pirates and mermaids. While Peter was out with Wendy at the Mermaid's Lagoon, Peter spotted a little rowboat in the distance. It's Hook, all right, he cried. Captain Hook was a wicked pirate and Peter Pan's greatest enemy. Once in a fierce battle, Peter had cut off Hook's hand. The, pi the pirate now had a terrible steel hook attached to his left wrist. And where did that hand go? A hungry crocodile had eaten the pirate's hand. He had enjoyed his meal so much that he now followed Hook everywhere, hoping for a chance to gobble up the rest of him. Peter and Wendy followed Hook and were shocked to see he had the Indian princess Tiger Lily with him. Tell me the hiding place of Peter Pan and I shall set you free, the wicked pirate snarled at Tiger Lily. But Tiger Lily was Peter's friend. She refused to tell the dastardly pirate anything. Peter flew down in front of Hook just in the nick of time. Up and down the rocky cliffs they fought ch -ch 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 -ch, until Hook slipped oh, and the croc snapped cup, cup, cup. Hungrily, that is. Mr. Smee, the captain's first mate, rushed over and pulled Hook into his rowboat. Come here, come here, captain, come here. With the, uh, with the uh, crocodile following right behind him, Peter rescued Tiger, Tiger Lily and took her home to the Indian chief. Back at Peter's hideout, Wendy told the boys their favorite story, but they were all very homesick. I want my mother's side, sobbed Michael. And although the Lost Boys didn't know what a mother was, they decided they wanted one too. So Wendy promised they would all go home back to her ho London home together. But Captain Hook and the other pirates were waiting outside the hideout. Hook had tricked Tinkerbell into telling him where the hideout was. The pirates captured the children and took them back to Hook's ship. We're pirates, we're pirates, we're happy pirates, and we've captured the children. We're singing pirates. Hook gave them a chance. Join the pirates or walk the plank, he said. 
The boys rather liked the idea of becoming pirates, but Wendy did not. Peter Pan will save us, she said. Hook laughed loudly. Ha, ha, ha. We left a present for Peter, a surprise package. It was a bomb. Peter Pan will be blasted out of Neverland forever, said Hook. Tinkerbell overheard those words. She knew she had to warn Peter. The tiny fairy reached Peter's hideout just as he was about to open the present. She grabbed the bomb and threw it as far away as she could. Seconds later, there was one huge explosion. Boom! Tinkerbell told Peter that Wendy and the others were in danger, and Peter sped off to rescue them with Tinkerbell close behind. Peter Pan arrived just in time to save Wendy and the boys. Da -da -da. He turned to face his enemy. Back and forth went went Peter and Hook in the most terrible battle ever fought. Tink 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 tink. Peter laughed at our Hook laughed at Peter, who fought back, forcing the captain to slip and fall backwards oh, into the water below, where the hungry crocodile waited. Snap, snap, snap. The children clapped, yay, yay, and cheered as they watched Hook frantically swimming towards Smee's rowboat. Smee, help me here, Smee, persuaded by the snapping jaws of the croc. Peter gave the order to raise the anchor. Raise the anchor, my friends. Tinkerbell sprinkled the pirate ship with magic pixie dust, and in no time at all, the ship was soaring high above Neverland. It flew all the way to London, where Wendy, John, and Michael were soon safely back in their nursery. <sighs> As the children waved goodbye, goodbye, Peter, the pirate ship sailed off into the night sky, so silhouetted against the full moon. For Peter Pan, Tinkerbell, and the Lost Boys, who weren't quite ready to grow up yet, they were off on another wonderful Netherland, Neverland adventure. Wow, that's so cool. What have we learned today, my friends? We learned from Peter Pan, Tinkerbell, Wendy, John, Michael, Mr. Smee, and of course, Captain Hook, that everything works out when we work together. Have a special day, my friends. Be sure to like, favorite, and subscribe. Stay tuned for more Big Daddy Storytime. God bless.